And welcome back here to Live Now from Fox. Uh, I'm Andrew Kraft. We're going to get into more of these top headlines here. Uh, Follow-up uh, to one that we brought you just yesterday. Remember, we were reporting uh, that a Brazilian Supreme Court panel yesterday unanimously upheld the decision of one of its justices to block billionaire Elon Musk's social media platform X nationwide there in the South American country. Fox News correspondent Griff Jenkins has more. The social media platform, formerly known as Twitter, remains offline in one of South America's largest countries. Brazil's Supreme Court unanimously upheld a ban of the site X by its top judge on Monday. The ruling blocks access nationwide for some 40 million users and mandates ex-founder Elon Musk pay more than $3 million in fines and nominate a legal representative within the country. I don't know how far we can go. It's strange how far we're getting in terms of information and the limitations they're trying to put on the population. The court's top judge, Alexander de Moraes, suspended X last week, claiming it allows the spread of misinformation. He also set a daily fine of nearly $9,000 for anyone using virtual private networks to access the platform. Musk said the ruling is destroying free speech, adding, the current Brazilian administration likes to wear the cloak of a free democracy while crushing the people under its boot. Brazil's president issuing this warning. Having a lot of money does not allow you to disrespect it. He is not a citizen of the world. He can't offend presidents, congressmen, the Senate, or the Supreme Court. In addition to the ban on X, the court has also frozen satellite internet provider Starlink's financial accounts in Brazil, which is owned by Musk. And all of this could have an impact on fans traveling to the Eagles-Packers season opening game set for this Friday in Brazil. In Washington, Griff Jenkins, Fox News. Griff, thanks so much, as always. In the meantime, we do want to bring into the conversation our friend at the Manhattan Institute, Daniel DiMartino. He joins us. Uh, Daniel, good to thanks see you again. Uh, we definitely wanted to get you on about this story. Uh, you're somewhat of our unofficial Latin American correspondent here. This is big, though, in Brazil. Um, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, let's parse through the noise of this story. If you are an everyday Brazilian right now and you have Twitter on your phone or X, you can't use it, right? Correct. You, you cannot use it unless you have a VPN, uh, which you could. Like, that, it would be physically possible to use a VPN and access Twitter, but it's illegal, and you risk a large fine if the government finds out. Okay, so as of now, after this ruling yesterday, and, and this ruling was just a panel of the Supreme Court in Brazil. It wasn't the entire Brazilian Supreme Court. It, it upheld this, and that panel was unanimous here, what does that say about this case going forward? Will we see access to X anytime soon? Well, but note, notice what is going on here. Um, I don't think we will see access to X uh, anytime soon in Brazil, but notice that this is all about the politics so that people understand why is X suspended. X is suspended because some judges in the Brazilian Supreme Court thought that the whole social media must be suspended if Elon Musk does not eliminate certain accounts of opposition candidates and members of Congress in Brazil, including uh, former President Bolsonaro, because they're claiming that they're spreading some sort of lies about the election. And look, I'm not sure if the claims are valid or not, but Elon Musk is not there to police speech over what's true and what's wrong. In fact, he actually introduced the whole context notes on, on Twitter sure. or on X recently. Uh, so to add context, um, I, I feel like it's very much a political rule. If you see who are the members of this panel, that includes somebody who was a member of the Communist Party of Brazil, that includes people who were part of the government of, of Lula in the past. Uh, these are not independent Supreme Court justices. These are formerly politicians. Okay, because that's what I was going to ask you, if this is pur purely political, and that's uh, what it seems like you're getting at here. Who is this very controversial figure, one of the judges on the Supreme Court by the name of Alexandre de Moraes? Um, how influential is he in Brazil? And does he just have an ax to grind against Bolsonaro here? He is quite controversial. Why? 
Well, he's controversial because of, of not just this action, but everything the Brazilian Supreme Court has been doing in the past six months, which is putting jail uh, and, and forbid for running from for office people who, who he said have spread lies about the election. They barred Bolsonaro. Jair Bolsonaro is banned from running for, for president again, even though he's constitutionally allowed by the Supreme Court. X is the next step. First, they went after Bolsonaro. They won. Now they're going after the whole population who opposes them. And, you know, think about it from the U.S. perspective. This is an American company, right, that is probably owned by an American citizen living here. Uh, they're trying to take over his assets in Brazil, not just access, as you mentioned. It's also SpaceX assets because they're owned by Elon Musk. So now they're just going after him directly, not, right. not after the whole truth about the election. Um, if... X it was smart about its whole legal setting. I'm not sure what its legal uh, uh, settlement is like in, in Brazil and in other countries. But if they can get arbitration inside U.S. courts, Brazil is in a lot of trouble because American companies have a very good record of seizing foreign government assets in the U.S. if they act incorrectly in their home countries. Yes, we just saw that, of course, recently with uh, Maduro's private plane uh, from Venezuela. Um, but, but to your point, Brazilians at least on the judiciary, uh, you know, alleging these acts against Musk going after his company X, going after his company Starlink here. Where's the check on the judiciary? I'm not an expert on the Brazilian judiciary system here or Brazilian judicial philosophy, but is there a check or not? Well, the only check that could happen now is if Congress decides to impeach and remove the Brazilian Supreme Court justices which is a check very similar to the one in the U.S. Constitution, but obviously it's a high threshold, a high bar that is unlikely to, to happen given the current composition of Congress. But the, the move to suspend X certainly puts uh, uh, Alexander de Moraes in the spot, at least, because everybody, including leftists in Brazil, are upset that they cannot access social media. It's 40 million Brazilians out of a population of what, 150 million eligible voters? So it's nearly, we're talking about over a quarter, nearly a third of eligible voters who cannot access the social media. That That is a problem. And I don't think that Lula calculated really well what, what was happening. Just for our viewers, though, and to hammer the point, um, because I myself am somewhat struggling with the, the rationale underpinning this action by, by the Brazilian Supreme Court. Is it purely over... Posts that have appeared on social media on the platform X in Brazil, you know, questioning the institutions that be there, like the 2020 election where Bolsonaro lost. Uh, and you can make similarities to what happened after 2020 in Brazil and after 2020 in the United States. We won't do that here. We don't have the time. But is that it? Yeah, that, that's literally it. It is all because Twitter refused to suspend accounts of people who were saying some things that the Supreme Court doesn't like. There was no threat of violence. Uh, we're not talking about, uh, you know, illegal activities. Uh, Musk has been very clear that he would suspend anything that is illegal. Uh, we're, we're talking about uh, just speech, free speech. Uh, and by the way, Bolsonaro didn't even like call for anything during the after he lost the election. This was all by by other politicians. Bolsonaro himself admitted his own defeat in the election, even if he said there was fraud. He said he, that Lula was elected. So uh, like this is really a very authoritarian move, and why a lot of people are saying that Brazil is going in a really bad direction. Okay, so Daniel, uh, according to the Associated Press, the platform has clashed with De Marais over its reluctance to block users and has alleged that De Marais wants an in-country legal representative so that Brazilian authorities can exert leverage over the company by having someone to arrest. Do you anticipate that X would uh, accommodate that request, sending to Brazil an in-country representative that can hammer all of this out with the powers that be or no? Or, or do you buy X and Musk's claim that they just want someone there to blame in Brazil representing X? Well, I just don't see any reason why X would, 
you know, put somebody in a vulnerable position to get arrested okay. unnecessarily. Like, what are they going to do to Musk? That's the question. They're going to seize a few million dollars that this man who has billions uh, in the United States, that's not going to hurt Elon Musk. It's only going to hurt Brazilians, right? We're going to lose access to Starlink. We're going to lose access to, to X. That's not going to hurt Elon Musk. That's going to hurt them. And so um, I, I don't think Brazil has the upper hand here, and that's what they don't understand. Okay. Um, you know, Daniel, I'm very circumspect about the term censorship uh, here on Live Now. I think it's a word that is used a lot lately, and the effect uh, of that overusage seems to be the dilution of the meaning of the word. But is that what we're seeing here in Brazil? Can we say the C word? I, I would 100% call this censorship. Uh, and in fact, no, censorship isn't just having banned X. Censorship is also what they were requesting X does and that they refused to do. We're not talking any, you know, I'm, I think that you're right about, we have to be very careful about using this word when it's not the case. Uh, you may disagree, you may agree with Bolsonaro, but why are you suspending a whole social media? That's like saying we should suspend Facebook because Trump said that the 2020 election was stolen. That's the equivalent. Imagine if the US government, the FCC or the Supreme Court suspended Facebook nationwide because of something Trump said. It would be ridiculous, right? And that's what's happening in Brazil. Okay. Um, Daniel, one interesting note though uh, about Brazil, um, the NFL is going to Brazil later this week uh, on Friday, the Packers and the Eagles are playing in Rio. I want to put this up here uh, because we're transitioning totally to professional sports right now. Uh, Chris O'Connell, our friend there at Fox 29 in Philadelphia, posted this statement there from a Wisconsin state lawmaker who was asking the NFL to move the Eagles-Packers game out of Brazil because of quote-unquote widespread unrest and escalating violence. Uh, that is from State Representative John Macko there in Wisconsin saying, in light of the current political and social climate in Brazil, I urge the NFL and Green Bay Packers to reconsider the upcoming game scheduled to be held in Brazil Friday. The alarming reports of widespread unrest, escalating violence and profound censorship against U.S. companies operating within Brazil paint a troubling picture of the conditions there that reads in the first paragraph. Now, Daniel, the uh, question about the Supreme Court there and Elon Musk and X, um, is it safe for an American professional sports league to play a game in Rio? Uh, well, I would argue it is It is safe, okay. but I do think that it is a fair thing to say that the U.S. government uh, should put pressure on Brazil to, to not do what they're doing. Because at the end, they are indeed harming American interest of an important American company, of an American person. They're doing it unfairly. They are certainly violating the rights of their own citizens to free speech. And, and you know, just putting a little leverage there and saying that the NFL shouldn't host a game, I think that's totally fair play. Okay. I want to correct myself. Uh, the Packers-Eagles game, Sao Paulo. It's not in Rio. It's in Sao Paulo a little further to the south. Geography is important in Brazil, especially. Daniel DiMartino, uh, can't thank you enough uh, for coming on uh, kind of late. Uh, we appreciate it. Thank you.